Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Yes. Uh, Le Pen. That's right. Marine Le Pen, who's running for president of France. She told a rally of people she would shield France from the savage globalization. That is the headline at Bart Begley's website, thecrusaderjournal.com. Crusaderjournal.com. And so she said, I will shield you. I will shield you from what? Savage globalization, folks. The beast is being exposed. The new world order, the Illuminati definitely doesn't want Le Pen to be the next president of France. Matter of fact, here's the reports coming out of Paris. French far-right leader Marine Le Pen urged supporters six days ahead of the presidential election to rally behind her, saying the country's most unpredictable vote in decades was a choice between her rivals, the savage globalization and or her patriotism. Opinion polls have for months shown that Le Pen and the centralist Emmanuel Macron qualifying this Sunday for the May 7th runoff, but the gap with conservative Francois Fillon and far leftist Jean-Luc Mélenchon uh, has been tightening. So the choice on Sunday is very simple. It is a choice between France that is rising again and a France that is sinking, according to Le Pen, slamming her rivals, whom she said wanted savage globalization. She said hers was the camp of the patriots. Give us France back, for God's sake, she said, prompting from the crowd of 5,000 in the National Front's traditional this is our home chant. This is our home. They were chanting in the crowd. While no polls have shown Le Pen missing out on the runoff, they are now within the margin of error, and any two of the four top candidates have a shot at qualifying for the May 7th runoff. Polls have consistently shown her losing that second round, though. Now, getting the crowd to boo the EU Le Pen hit her party's trademark anti-EU, anti-immigration themes hard. She's basically the same message as President Donald Trump. She has the exact same message. Get out of the new world order. Get out of the globalization. France first. Get out of the EU. Uh and, 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 you know, build up the nation. You can't be a part of a watered-down, weak European Union. Uh, it, just, it just destroys the... Co- Globalization, folks, does not work. It can never work because the, there's too many people with too many different cultures and too many language barriers and too many different religious aspects. It can never work. But that's exactly what the beast has been trying to do from the dawning of time almost. I mean, let's go back to Nimrod. It was all about building the Tower of Babel and Nimrod, the mighty hunter, and and pulling in a globalization ideal, which of course, uh, God then confounded their languages. He stopped this movement. He's seen that it was gonna turn into idolatry, which it already was. This confused language scattered the people and thus created different nationalities and ethnic groups and cultures and languages. And the beast is trying to pull it back together again. The spirit of Nimrod trying to make the final run of a new world order, a beast with an antichrist and a false prophet. Well, uh, Le Pen says, I will protect you. My first measure as president will be to reinstate France's borders. Sound familiar? Uh, She said to wide applauses and cheers. Mass immigration is not an opportunity for France. It's a tragedy for France, she said, adding that she would immediately impose a moratorium on immigration. Quote, we can't decide who is allowed to come here anymore, Le Pen said. The French sometimes have fewer rights 
than the foreigners, even the illegal ones. That's the same thing we've been dealing with here in America. We just can't decide. Scuffles briefly broke out between 60 to 80 anti-FN protesters and police near the Zenith Concert Hall in northeast Paris ahead of the rally, according to Reuters. And police fired tear gas at the protesters, some of whom threw chunks of wood. The protesters then left, followed by a small group of police. During Le Pen's speech, a young woman jumped on the stage and was immediately carried away by security. Sound familiar? I mean, are you serious? It's just unbelievable. Uh, so you can read the entire article, all the pictures. Anonymous was there. I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, tear gas, all of that. You can check it out at uh, my, web, uh, my son's website, The Crusader Journal. In other words, go to crusaderjournal.com. That's crusaderjournal.com. He does a great job in keeping up with the current events. And uh, I can tell you, in these last days, we can see what's going on here. Unbelievable. The British pull out of the EU. The French are about ready to pull out of the EU, possibly, if she wins. The Americans are pulling out of the globalization ideal. The Middle East is in a state of madness. Kim Jong-un is, is a state of madness. And uh, now Turkey may be crowning the caliphate. Maybe he is the man that will rise in the last days. At least he is one of them. Will he bring back the Ottoman Empire? How many strong men will there be in these last days? What's going on? Are the spirits, the unclean spirits like frogs, starting to surface among humanity. Is this the black awakening, as Russ Dizdar says? Are we living in the last days? Will the church rise up with power, with the greatest revival in history? I think so. I know so. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.